Hello and welcome back to the Reaper. So another tactical debrief today. Well, I don't know about tactical. Uh, I call them tactical debriefs. I don't think there's going to be anything particularly tactical about this one. Uh, this is the Warbird mission. It's just going to be a bit of fun, um, more or less, just to see what happened to everyone. Basically, I get to watch it back for the first time with y'all. Uh, if I sound a bit groggy, it's because I couldn't sleep today, so I gave up trying to sleep, and now I'm just going to come do this instead. Right. Uh, so I found. Uh, just in case you haven't seen the mission, we've got uh, about. I don't know, uh, 10 of us warbirds, uh, maybe 11. Uh, we started uh, over there somewhere. We flew to there, and then we took off from there once we've rearmed and refueled, and we're attacking this base of light armor and some buildings. So we've done some damage. Everyone's okay so far. First person to go down is Gumbo with a accidental kamikaze. Let's watch him go down. I think he's uh, quite new to uh, the warbirds. Must have got target, that's Gumbo there, must have got target fixation, I imagine. Spray, 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 pull up too late. Pow! Actually hit one of the units, and that was quite well, quite well done. Um, and that's that, I won't bother watching the rest of the ground attack, let's see what uh, happens next. Uh, the next trash is out, I didn't realise trash went out, but uh, he must have taken some... Uh, some AAA from these guys here because he just basically waddles up, waddles along for a bit and then crashes. We stalling and put it down. Oh, he landed okay. He didn't die, so at least he saved the airframe. Right, that's fine. Uh, right, the hostile fighters are coming in now, so we're going to see some action soon. For some reason they went uh, while we were attacking this place. They kind of went around the north of us. Um, not sure what the thinking was there. Got hostiles are Seethor, Zoidberg, Raptor, and Skadraki, and these two are pinching out to the left by the looks of it. And first contact is Tomic and Seethor by the looks of it. Looks like um, Tomic's got the upper hand here. That's going to be a merge. Tomic's up. Tomic just ignored him. That wasn't very good. So Seethor, so Tomic's gone past him and it's a good chance for Seethor to get on his ass. Um, it's not much of a fair fight really. The P-51, although very fast and has a good dive, it's not very manoeuvrable at all down here. So the uh, 109 has got a, a distinct advantage. So Seethor's done a high yo-yo and he's uh, got on the sick. Oh no, he's given up as well. Okay, that's fair enough. Zoidberg's not going to make the same mistake. Zoidberg is going for Elo by the looks of it. It's coming in too fast. 350 knots too fast. Into a lag pursuit. And Seethor is chasing Atomic. This is going to be a four man chase by the looks of it. Seethor's got behind Atomic. Sherman's coming in to find out what's going on. Zoidberg closing on Elo. Um, yep, a good closing speed. If not, maybe a little too high. Oh, he's got a hit on an LA. But it causes LO to squirm and brake check. Well, it's not really a brake check, but Zoidberg just overshoots. Zoidberg's going up a high yo-yo, trying to keep an eye on LO. Meanwhile, the rest of us are starting to swarm in. Stahl's uh, got the picture now, he's coming in. Sherman's got the picture, he's coming in. So we're going to be all over them shortly. Uh, Sherman's squirting at Seethor. Zoidberg's coming back down from his yo-yo back onto Elo. That's nice flying there. Wow, that's a one, two, three, four, five, six man chain now. That's pretty cool. Uh, these boys are just flying towards the chain. Grinkle and Cap are on their way as well. Okay, Sherman squirting again at Seedor. No hit. Uh, someone squirting and missing. Zoidberg overshooting his target. Oh god, that's absolutely chaos. Look at that. Uh, somehow Seethor's become the um, the lead plane now, so it looks like he's breaking off. Zoidberg yo-yo's up high again. Again, he got too close to Elo, so he's had to yo-yo up to get, well, to get some distance away from him. Elo is chasing Seethor now. Atomic has escaped. Zoidberg's coming down. Energy high. And no, no, he's decided to go for Atomic. In, uh, back, to, back to Atomic, so... He goes back to Atomic, uh, Stahl and, and Elo are firmly set on Seethor. These two are coming in, um, with Cap and Grinkle slightly in front of them. 
Sherman yo-yos up high with uh, Zoibo twitches to Sherman. Lots of squirting going on here. This is Stahl shooting at Seethor. Did we get any hits there? Let's go back. No. No hits. Okay, where did Zoiberg end up? Zoiberg's uh, chasing Sherman now from high. The two spits are about to merge in. Uh, that is Stahl has just overshot Seethor because Seethor is turning slow down 150 knots. Oh, it's getting hard to see what's going on now. Uh, Zoiberg is... Mm, don't know who he's chasing now. So we're getting a bit of a mess now. Okay, uh, Seethor has broken out the fight. These two seem to have lost a situation awareness, I think. Cap, uh, this is a right old fight. Look at this. This is great. This is why I say it's not a tactical debris. Because there are no tactics. This is every man for himself. Shoot at anything that moves. Tomic's escaped. Someone's gone up high. Who was that? No, they haven't. Scratch that. Right. So let's carry on. It's like a massive red arrow... Um, uh, bomb spit, that's pretty cool. Uh, who's that? Grinkle's in. Can't really see from this angle. That's who we're going to follow. Follow Grinkle, shall we? Cap backing up Grinkle. Seethor's uh, made it a clean exit. Cap has found Zoiberg and is chasing Zoiberg. Grinkle has found Seaforth. So we've got the fighters in now. The uh, Spitfires are the air-to-air -air fighters down here, rather than the P-51s. So Grinkle's going to chase Seaforth away. Cap's going to chase Joyberg away. Oh, I've got to stop there. Turn that off. So Cap's chasing Joyberg. Raptor's chasing Cap. Grinkle's chasing Seaforth. It looks like he's about to overshoot. Zoiberg's making use of the excellent climb rate of the 109, and um, Cap is struggling to match, although Zoiberg is running out of airspeed, so Cap poss possibly catch him. Uh, these guys are just chasing each other for some reason around here. Stahl's exited the fight. Cap's lost a lot of airspeed now. He's got to try and catch up with Zoiberg. Raptor's still trying to chase Cap, but he's getting too slow himself. Grinkle and... Ah, right. Seethor somehow escaped Grinkle. Grinkle lost awareness and it's allowed Skadrecki to get on Grinkle. Meanwhile, Cap's still chasing Zoidberg. Raptor is closing on Cap. Um, took a shortcut on the high... Uh, on, the, on the high run. Uh, two guys is now Skate and Seethor chasing Grinkle. Zoidberg's up high again, trying to lose Cap. I can't keep up. Do you have to blend speed? Star went for a snapshot on Zoeyberg, but it's way too far away. These guys are shooting Grinkle. Poor Grinkle's got himself in trouble. So as a Spitfire, if you're in trouble, it's a great plane to be in trouble with. Uh, it's got an enormous turn rate due to its low wing loading, and you can pretty much outturn anything. So if you're in trouble like that, you yank back on the stick and just spin around in circles, uh, essentially, and you can, um, like I said, beat anyone like that and get away. So the squirting Grinkle and Cap's now in trouble because I've, somehow the Spitfires have got themselves in trouble. I've got Raptor after me, but Sherman's on Raptor, so we're going for a big chain again. There, Grinkle's going for a nice big turn right now, up to 6G. Yep, and you see how quickly he escaped when he when he turned up the G on that Spitfire. Really nice. Uh, Cap is getting absolutely sprayed. Uh, let's go and try and follow this for a while, shall we? Being menaced by uh, someone, Raptor. But I've got 5G on the go, so he's struggling. Struggling to get the lead at 6.5G. So I'm pretty much passing out at the moment. Uh, in a jet, in a mob jet fighter, you can do 9G. But with these fighters, you didn't have G-suits, obviously. So 6G is your, your max. Uh, I have escaped. Raptor gave up. I'm not sure why. Uh, but he just decided he couldn't turn. So I'm happy with that. That looks like the fighting over there for a minute. So what's going on over here? So a little pocket of uh, fighting has happened here. And it's now two blues on one red. So that happened quickly. Seethor was still chasing Grinkle. So Grinkle hasn't got away yet. He's got to use that turn right now. Four G, five G, six G. Yep, that's a good turn. Yep, that's. Mm. 
I prefer not to go up when you're when you're being chased, but um, I guess he felt he couldn't help it. 5G is pretty good stuff. Uh, Skay's chasing Atomic. Atomic's going to struggle. Atomic needs to use his speed, his dive and his speed now. Long looping turns to get away from Skay. He can do that, but he can't he can't do a turn fight like he's trying to do at the moment. Ah, manoeuvre kill. So how did that happen? Let's have a look. Slow that down. Let's look at Seethor. Uh, angle of attack. Ah, that is, he's pushed too high on the angle of attack. Uh, at about 30. Well, any plane struggles at 30, but especially a warbird. About 30 angle of attack. It just can't function. It's going to go. It's going to lose. It's going to depart, essentially. 34. 35 is pushing, pulling the stick too hard. He, he should ease up on the stick here, and um, and go into a nice, comfortable lag pursuit. He's trying to pull in, and again he's trying to turn with the Spitfire. And these Spitfires just gobble up the angle of attack, and he's now pretty much departed. Yep, he's stuck on 33, 35 degrees out. At which point he's not really flying anymore, and the plane can't function, the wing can't function, and he's down. Right, it's one man down. Uh, there's a red one as well, so that was good. Right, Atomic. So he's got to get long. Can't turn. Don't turn. Okay, yep, he's doing no, he's turning. You can turn a tiny bit, but not a lot. You've got to get your speed up. Uh, it's a slipperier jet than the uh, 109, so he can get his speed up more. Oh, and he's hit. The plus side is doing great at manoeuvring. Doing everything he needs to, to put uh, put Skadrecki's aim off. Again, now is now's the, mm, oh no, maybe not. I was gonna say now might be a good time to escape, but Skay's got potential energy. Uh Grinkle's coming to help out. Yes. See that's the best thing to do is call a buddy in with a Spitfire. Because the Spitfire can fight this guy. So that's uh that was the ideal solution. Let's set this up, shall we? What's Grinkle gonna do? So he's closing to gun range. Oh, Skadrecki has done a he's done a snap still, look at that. Yep, yeah, he brake checked him and it worked perfectly. Grinkle's flown right by. Lovely move there, I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but And he's regained control, pretty good. Good move. Grinkle just didn't see that coming and has now lost um, lost awareness of him. That was pretty cool. Now what was going on with the other guys? Well that was going on. Let's go and have a look quick backtrack shall we lots of stuff that's for sure oh god absolute chaos so where are we here so this is when Grinkle's just been chased that's cool so Cap's been chased by Raptor again Stahl is heading up to Zoidberg but not going to get him like that Sherman's chasing Raptor. No, he's, yes, he is, but he doesn't have the turn. Also, what's Cap doing at this point? What am I going to do to get rid of this guy? Got a turn, 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 and I'm pumping up to 5G, 6G. And he's broken off. He realizes he just can't turn with that. So that's great news. Wow, look at Zoyberg go. Woo! Brilliant. Uh, so Sherman is now firmly on Raptor's ass. That's pretty cool. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Slightly out of range. Um, thousand feet is okay for a kind of modern gun, but oh, what happened there? Stahl. I didn't know that Stahl got shot this early. Right. Let's just have a little look at that again, shall we? I was going flying slow for some reason, only 200 knots, that's going to be trouble for him. And he's flying in a straight line at 200 knots. It's never going to end well, is it? It's just cruising. And easy, easy kill. That was very silly of him, I don't know how he managed that. Sherman's going to close up now. It's huge speed in Raptor's God, I don't know how he's managed so much speed. Cap's coming back into the fire. Oh god, I'm being chased by Zoidberg now, I didn't realise that. I think I've got my own fight to worry about. 
Raptor heading down. Maintaining a better speed than the P-51, so maybe this, this plane here can go faster than the P-51 down here. In which case, the P-51's got no nothing to fight with at all. So, Cap, I realised that this guy was chasing me, so I've done a huge pull, and he just couldn't stick with me, I don't think. I think he's given up. Oh, just Sherman hit Raptor. Look at that. Well done, boys. They put him under pressure. Cap has exited the fight. Raptor is now being chased by the boys. Zoibear's going to try and help. Sherman's yo-yoed high. Gunzillo's going for a straight pursuit. Cap's seen someone. Oh, Zoibear made the mistake of yo-yoing in front of me, and I'm going to try and take him down. Gunzillo sprang. Not putting enough lead, look. Just not enough lead for such a... Uh, it's a big turn. It's a 5.5G turn, so... But I wouldn't bother shooting at that point. Cap is chasing Zoidberg. I just can't get the speed these goddamn 109s can get us so fast. Very frustrating chasing these things. They can turn and they can go fast, so they're we consider them the best dogfighters. Um, Raptor and Ello are down low, but Raptor is not still on his man. Cap's still on his man. More spraying from Ello. More spraying from Ello. Cap spraying at... Uh, Zoidberg, not enough lead. More spraying from Ello. Oh, look at that. Twin hits. Well done, Ello. Very good. And he's down to 65 feet. Look at that. 65 feet. Very nice. Cap missed, as I always seem to do. Tomic's coming back in. Oh, I think he's been wounded from that other fight, as I remember. So, um, Zoidberg's escaping by using height. He's got uh, essentially a more powerful... Um, plane that can climb higher so he's doing that and he knows I can't keep up and I will kill my engine if I try and keep up so I've given up sensibly Ello still chasing Raptor Ello won't give up, good work Ah, and uh, Raptor has put on the Alpha of 31 and that's how he's going to beat this uh, uh, Ello essentially with a brake check and it will work because that Mustang can't do that, if the Mustang tries to do that it will stall and crash and you can see Ello stalling, stalling, stalled completely, 80 knots. But I think he's got the hang of it again. Yep, and he's back under control, well done. That was a good move from Raptor there. Uh, so basically I can't get up here where this guy is, so what I've decided to do is shark him from below. So I know he's got to come down soon, so I'm just going to stay down here, um, save up my energy and wait for him to come down. And you can see I'm just staying right below him. Uh, so the rest of the guys, I don't think anything's happened around here yet. So we're all kind of bunching up together again. Let's see what happens next. Well, I see Zoidberg's coming down. Grinkle's going for Skay. Cap, giving a good chase of Zoidberg. And look how much speed Zoidberg's managed to get in that bird. 370 knots. Just can't compete with it in this bit. Too draggy. These two merge, that is Grinkle and Skadrecki, but a uh, fatal error there. Grinkle just didn't see the merge. Should have been concentrating on Skay, not our slot. And he's uh, giving away a really good tail position there. Cap chasing Joyberg around. Where did Raptor go? Raptor's somehow reversed the position on Ello. So I don't think Ello see it or saw it coming. So there's a nice little yo-yo there from Raptor to get on Ello. So what's going to happen now? Ello's going low. Just can't get the speed. No. I don't think they're I don't think these are even as fast as 109's down here, so Mustang really doesn't have a lot going for it. Yeah, uh back again high. He's, he knows I'm after him and he knows he can get away if he goes high. I can't beat him up there. Skay is pounding away at Grinkle now. Cap's going up after Zoidberg. Ello's got to do something. Oh no. Not sure if he was hit or not. And Grinkle was hit there. Let's go back and have a look at that. So Grinkle's uh, minting around at 250 knots. It's all good. Turns. It's a pretty good turn. Ugh, it was just a good shot. I mean, Skate pulled massive lead there. And it's quite a difficult shot to do, that is. So uh, it was a good shot at the end of the day. 
Uh, well, I think one of his big cannon shells must have hit uh, the spit to, to kill it in one shot. Right, so be it. Uh, so what happened down here? There's another blue down, annoyingly. So Ello's being chased by... So Ello's best weapon here, as his own plane's not much of a weapon at the moment, but his best weapon is Sherman. So it's getting Raptor into a position where Sherman can paste him. Unfortunately, Sherman's a bit all over the place today. And, yeah, it's overshot. Sherman is going to high yo-yo to get these guys back in front of him, which he does very well. Let's hope he gets that done. Uh, unfortunately, uh, as Sherman high yo-yos, uh, Elo break checks, and that's going to put things a little bit complicated now. So Sherman's yo-yo just worked. He just managed to get behind Raptor. Great reacquisition of uh, Raptor there by Sherman. That's really good. Ello's in bad shape, it was down to 100 knots there. Wow, look at that turn. Look at that aeroplane turn. 109. Uh, it's r rolling scissors now, but essentially Sherman can't compete with that. He's going to want to exit. Uh, Ello's dead. I can see he's, he's going forward, but his speed's getting lower, so his engine's broken. I think he broke it himself, because it, I don't think he got shot, but I can't confirm that for sure. Kind of um, barrel rolling scissors with these two, and Sherman um, decides to exit the fight. And that's a good idea. Um, scissors with the 109, it will almost always end with the 109 winning because the 109 can fly slower, turn tighter. So it's gone back. So that's happened. They've exited the fight. Cap still chasing uh, someone. Who am I chasing? Chasing. Yeah, I've been chasing Zorbo for the last 10 minutes, I think. Just cannot get near him with my plane. Which is annoying. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing wrong. So let's turn in five, six G Zoyberg. Cap not wanting to put that G in. Okay, just staying in nice, comfortable lag. Everything he seems to just have more speed in everything he does, and I can't get near him. Be interested to know um, a comparison. If anyone out there can do a comparison specification between the 109. G, I think this is? No, the K4, sorry. And the Spitfire Mark 9. It'd be interesting to see a comparison of why I just cannot keep up with him. See, look, he's just stretching, stretching away, whatever he does. I'm down, done at 140. He never went lower than 180. Must just have more power and less drag. Maybe even less weight, I don't know. Uh, Skay is coming to save his buddy. Nice move. We almost hit each other. That's pretty sick. Dive, I can't get him to dive, he's at 350 knots, I can't get more than 300. 320, I'll get 220 and get 350. So I'm not sure how we're going to kill these guys, to be honest. Okay, so we're going to get into four-man chase. Sherman's exiting the fight. Oh, God, look at that. Even on a straight line, he can't outrun these guys. So These guys have got the speed, they've got the turn, they've got the climb. This guy's maintaining 350 nearly. Nothing they can do about that. Raptor still catching Sherman. Very frustrating. Oh, this guy's chasing me. Soybo is just so fast, 320 and still increasing, poor old Sherman. Come on Sherman, you've got to get some speed in it. Okay, for, for the first time the P51's got faster than the got faster than this K4 here. So at the very, very top it just seems to accelerate slower, but it, it just seems to have the top speed. And Sherman's done really well, but he knows this guy's closing. There's nothing he can do apart from going into dogfight now. So he's going into a dogfight. He's burning off his speed very quickly. Uh, Zoidberg overshot, and he's going to have to high yo-yo. Uh, let me get this right. Cap's coming in. Sherman's all out of speed now. All he can do is snap roll now and brake check. Yep, it's down. It's good shooting by Raptor. That wasn't an easy shot. 
And it's all up to Cap now to save the world, which is never a good thing. So it's now Cap versus... If I get this bloody thing to work. Cap versus Raptor. Again, he's already faster than me. Spray, 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 spray! Not enough lead, not enough lead. I didn't have enough lead on it. So I got him! Unfortunately, it wasn't a cannon shell. That was a cannon shell that would have had him. He's turning. I'm matching his turn, but he's climbing. I cannot match that climb. Got him again. Look at that. Come on. This guy's tough. I'm just slightly leading inside this um, wiggling manoeuvre. No. Got him again. Look. He just won't die. Pa 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 pa. No, no. He's exited, and I'm out of ammo. Swordbird comes in. And that's me dead. So frustrating. I hit that guy three times when he carries on. He didn't even hit me there, and I'm dead. Very annoying. That's me out. Pilot dead. Oh well. Um, or is it? Am I? No, I'm not. Oh, there I am. There I'm dead. Oh, okay. Uh, so, that's the end of it. We got absolutely wiped out. We always do by the bloody red 109s. Um, so, we can't seem to match them in performance, so we're gonna have to, what we're going to have to do is learn to match them in tactics. Uh, we're going to have to devise a tactic in which we can beat them. Um, so, we've got P51s and Spitfires and Doras. So, you, the internet, go away and find a tactic uh, in which we can beat them as a team. Come back to me and we shall employ it. Until then, I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you later.